I have to share something with you. Something I'm not proud of. I feel pretty crappy about it, but I know, I thought about this for a second, and I said, Vanessa, there are lessons to be learned in this. I was working on a project for International Women's Day. Along with all of my silver sisters, we were invited to participate in this really cool project for International Women's Day where we would wear something red and we would do this pose. And it's really just to honor and support women all around the world. And I think it's awesome. But here's where things went sideways for me today. No, I was just feeling, not feeling myself today, just kind of feeling off. And to be honest, I don't wear red lipstick that much. I mean, I think it's beautiful, but I put it on and I just, I wasn't feeling myself. I put on this really, beautiful kind of my Elvis sparkly red dress. This dress here, it's very Elvisy. In fact, I've never worn it before, but I always thought, oh, this will look so great in, you know, in a, in a photo shoot. Washed my hair today and it was also a little, you know, less manageable than normal. Then I've got the red lipstick on. Then I've got my, <laughs> my Elvis dress on. And all I have to do is get one picture, one image. But here's the problem, me the perfectionist, the recovering perfectionist, Vanessa. So I start about my bathroom taking pictures, trying to get, you know, the right angle, put my phone on the timer, and it's just not working out. Liking the red lips, I'm not loving the red dress with the frizzy hair, the lighting wasn't right. I don't have, I don't have anyone else here to take pictures for me, trying to set the timer every three seconds, and I'm, it's just stressing me out. I decide, I'll move outside. I'll, I'll take pictures outside, because you know, natural light, that's the ticket. And then I realize the lighting's even worse outside right now. I know this is so stupid in the scope of things, but I was already committed. I have to get this damn picture done. And it's just, it should be joyful. This should be joyful. So then I decided that I would lay down on my chase lounge out there and we would do like a picture from above. And then I could put it on the little timer, but then I realized I can't do that with one hand. How do I do with one hand and do this? Like it just wasn't, I was so frustrated. My puppy, she decided that she wanted to join the party. And so then that was 15 minutes of, of her climbing on top of me. And then I proceeded to take about 100 pictures, maybe more, maybe less, just trying to get one, one image of me like this, you know, where I felt I looked good. And then this happened. Got up, I snapped a picture, the lighting was terrible, and I said, you look like an old hag. Just when you think you've, you know, done the work, and I've done a lot of self-love and a lot of self-care and a lot of self-discovery. But this, I have a lot of work to do. You know who can be the biggest bully in your life? Yourself. I was so mean to me. I'm not happy about that. Ugh, you know, no one likes to be bullied and it feels terrible when someone's mean to you. But when you are mean to yourself, it's the worst. It's like you can't get away from it because it, you're you. It's like, you know, you can push a bully away, but when the bully is within. I'd love to button this up and have some magical, wonderful thing to say that's like the words of wisdom. I guess the only thing I can say is, I'm sorry, Vanessa. Give myself a hug and try to shake it off. But I just, I wanted to share this with you because learning to love yourself and to be kind and caring and loving is a constant, diligent practice. And the ego, any chance it gets, will show up and be rude and nasty in order to make you feel small, insignificant, not enough. In all honesty, the only, the only old hag around here was my attitude at the moment. That was like, you know, I was being an old hag to me. The ironic thing about all of this is this whole project, the red lips, was all about supporting and uplifting other women. And here I was tearing myself down. I absolutely love being a woman and I love supporting other women more than anything. I think women are the magic, the cherry on top of life. Also know that 
in order to be uplifting and kind and of service to others, we've got to be gentle with ourselves. We have to show up and love ourselves first. I wasn't very loving today. I'm sorry. Sorry, Vanessa. Just gonna dust it off and try to do better next time.